Hello there, uh, uh, this is Murph again. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to update only security packages like uh, on your servers, uh, on your CentOS or Red Hat uh, based servers. Uh, sometimes you you want to run uh, update your server, but you don't want to update everything. You just only want to update anything that is related to security, right? That That's the security fix uh, from Red Hat or CentOS. Right, um, so that can be uh, something that uh, is important when you're doing uh, server updates, uh, where you don't want to have your server unsecure. Right, so to do that, uh, you first, uh, and most of the time it's installed already. But if you don't, you have to install yum, install yum security plugin. So that's the plugin. Uh, in most cases, it gets installed by default. But if you don't, then you can just install it. So right now, I have it installed already, but I need to be updated. So I'm just gonna update it. Okay, and once you do that, you can uh, you can check the man page of Yum Security uh, plugin page. So this is the Yum Security plugin which we just updated, but you can install it or you know as I showed you. So um, there are a lot of options here actually that can be helpful for you. Uh, so you can do Yum Update Minimal, uh, which basically um, you know. Uh, this plugin extends yum to allow this and updates to be limited using the security relevant criteria, right? So only to the security uh, and this works like and this is an example. How does it work, right? Um, and then you can take a look, right? So the, the part that I find useful is the uh, yum update info before I run any kind of yum update uh, is in the yum update info list and uh, yeah, the info some more details and the summary, right? So I'm going to show you how it looks like before I show you how to run security update. So to do that, you just do. This is not um, so uh, just security, right? So update info list, right? It'll list everything that this machine is eligible for an update. This can be non-security as well, right? So and it also attach what Red Hat. Uh, I think these are uh, Bugzilla IDs uh, and attached to it, to Red Hat, uh, this, each, each of these updates. So if I do a, uh, so this is just not security, it's everything, right? So, so if I do a WC-L, it will tell me how many, almost close to 1,095 uh, or so, right? Packages that need to be updated. If I run it, so if I run an EM update right now, No, I see a lot of packages, right? So 345 package after the 31 package, right? And they're a lot of dependency, right? So, but uh, let's uh, try yum update. So to run security update only, you just do security. That's it. So keep in mind this uh, value here. Oh, sorry. I think I had a typo, sorry about that. And, uh, this is a lot less packages, right? And these are all security related packages. Um, um, so uh, if I jump to an update right now, and sometimes it can be kernel as well, right? So it can be there. It's gonna replace the kernel as well. So that that's something that you have to keep in mind. Security up doesn't mean that it's not gonna update. You know, exclude the kernel. If there's a security hole in the kernel, it's gonna update that, regardless. Um, and if you want to exclude kernel update, you can see my other video where I showed you how to uh, exclude kernel update. Um, so um, just to uh, show you more, so if I do yum update info, right, and list, right, this is going to list everything, which I showed you before. Uh, and if I do WCL, it's going to show me that all close to 2096, I'm just counting the lines here. And if I do just security, if I do security here, then, um, you know, sorry. So you can even, um, you can even have uh, the run only the important one, right? So you can actually, um, you know, if you if there's a particular package that matters to your server that you need to update, you can take a look. What uh, say you are, you're running a MySQL database on a machine, and then you want to make sure MySQL is uh, you know 
secured, right? Then you probably should, uh, you know, try this one first, right? If it's something that mission critical, uh, sequel box, right? You probably want to ensure that your your machine is, uh, you know, up to date with that piece at least, right? Uh, obviously, you know, you know, I recommend you running uh, secured up to the whole thing, like if you can. It's not just my SQL, right? You know, you just should uh, up to the kernel as well if needed, but that requires reboot, and sometimes it's not possible, and sometimes the application uh, may not allow it. You know, there are many things that gets broken. And I always encourage, uh, you know, taking a snapshot of the virtual machine if you are using a virtual machine update. You know, before you run any kind of VM update, it's that way you can roll back uh, if needed. Something breaks, you know, you can roll back. But in most cases, it works. But you know, there are some odd applications always. So, um, so that's pretty handy if you are running the yum update info summary. Gives a summary here, I think. So it'll tell you how many of them are critical, you know, how many are important, how many are low security, and how many kind of a summary, you know, about this whole thing, All right? So if I do just without security here. Uh, it will also tell you the security ones, and there are 342. Now you see more information. 342 are bug fixes, right? And 32 are enhancement. Uh, so you get the idea, like you know, what's the difference between a security update and a uh, and a regular YAM update, right? So uh, you know, again, if you need more info, just check the YAM security to make sure you know it kind of tailor to your need, right? You can mo modify a lot of settings. You can uh, specify a CVE number if there is a security CVE. You know, Red Hat publishes CVE numbers. Or I think that there's an organization that does it. Uh, the panel, uh, you know, the recent heartbleed bug. You know, there's a CVE number. Uh, you can, you can, you can uh, write a specific bug number, right? And uh, you know, you can tell it to your needs. And there are a lot of examples here. So, right. So, um, hopefully, this video helps. Uh, if you like the video, just uh, click on the like button or subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much.